Hey y'all, how y'all doing? So I'm, doing, I'm doing a video on my battery bank and it is doing a great job. These battery heaters that I put in here, it's an update on the Hydra mats, but it's doing a heck of a job. I got the one big mat back there and it is doing a super job. Uh, Right now it's at 58 degrees Fahrenheit, um, and I'm losing a little bit of heat right now since I got the top open. And over here I got my other Hydra Seedling Hydra Farm heat mats, and they are keeping this thing toasty warm. All right, I just want to do an update. I got that one back there, big one. I, I folded it over. I think it burns like 35 watts, and these are like 217s, but they're doing a great job. And I also have my um, my little um, temperature probe up here on top of the battery. So you can see what the, the battery bank is doing. But overall, it's doing a great job. Um, I'm going to go ahead and close this cover now. But yeah, y'all see the heat mat back there. And the other one. Other two right here. And I got my full insulation back here also and that little probe right there let me zoom in on that that little probe is for my to cut my temperature on and off uh, my thermostat my jump start thermostat for the, the ceiling mats and it's blowing it it's really and the reason I'm making a video of this right now to show you how good it works yeah, let me go ahead and close this up, y'all. And you see, I got all my fuses, everything protected. And these, I got these are six AGM batteries in 90 amp hours each. They're wired in series parallel. It gives me a total of 270 amp hours. And they're universal batteries. And they're not the, they're not the uh, high dollar batteries, AGMs, but hey, they're getting the job done. And the main thing is, and the renewable energy batteries. I got them from the Alt-E store, and they're doing a great job. And these are five years old. So I'm not going to take anything away from these batteries. All right. Let's go. Um, to, um, let me close this battery top up so I keep the batteries warm. All right. Okay, y'all, I'm back. Right now, the batteries are at 13 degrees Celsius. Right now. All right. That's good. And that's the same as 58 degrees Fahrenheit. And the batteries, um, for example, okay, if I go over here, um, today we've been making, we made 1,440 kilowatt hours so far, and it's only 122 in the afternoon. But it's cloudy as heck outside. And an Arctic blast is moving through the whole United States right now. And Virginia, we're getting hit. The temperature outside right now is 31 degrees. Outside temperature is 40.7 in here. All right, wind chill is 25 degrees Fahrenheit. So, for example, I just want to let y'all let y'all see something that uh, it, it's doing a good job. And up here is my battery temperature, also from my wind diversion controller. It's 58 degrees Fahrenheit. All right, and we're making a little bit of wind power right now. Well, here and there. But right now we're making uh, 180 watts. And uh, I don't know why that's doing that, but it's pretty cool. It's just a camera. But this is a Nikon AW. Nikon Coolpix AW120. It's so cold outside right now, I'm trying to use this camera because it's better for the, uh, the weather conditions. But uh, everything's working great. The system is doing a fantastic job. But here I'll show you the state of charge. Uh, let me go back. That's a great little camera. Uh, graph, all right. And okay, that's showing you the battery state of um, what it's doing 27.3 20, volts. 
state of charge. It's doing a heck of a job, and I'm going to do a video throughout the night and then early in the morning when the temperatures are really cold. Let y'all know what's going on with this system. On probably the coldest day we've had this year so far. Let's get down to like 9 degrees tonight. But uh, anyway, quit, I'm going to quit jabbering. But that's the power we put out today so far. Not too good. Jump B is a win. Doing really good on that today. It's blown out of the north northwest, and that's the uh, my small, small 240 watt two one two 120 watt panels alt E panels at 240 watts in series parallel. So anyway, uh, right now the jump start. Move on, move on. Right now, it's at 83.3 degrees. 83.3. .3. And the uh, the thermos is heating right now. The top button means it's heating. And uh, it's burning 83 watts. Is what this thing is burning. Let's see if I get a clear picture. 83 watts. Is what this thing is doing. Um, 57.2. That's on, that's how you got one probe that's on top of the uh, battery. And it's definitely doing the job. I'm going to show you what. These batteries are five years old. And this is my last month's bill. Um, and for example, last month's bill. Let me put some light on the subject here. One second, y'all. Okay. Oh, that's got a little video light on. It's pretty cool. But right now, my battery last month, and I had all the Christmas lights and everything running, uh, was $18.08. Okay. Uh, last year, I got more panels this year compared to last year. I got an, another 200, 300 watts of panels, um, approximate. And this year we burnt December 14th, uh, for December of 2014 we burnt 81 kilowatt hours versus now 41 kilowatt hours. And reason being that is because I'm keeping my batteries warm. All right, what I mean when I say keep my batteries warm. So the batteries are not going up and down, up and down in temperature. They're staying at a constant temperature of like, uh, you know, 58 degrees Fahrenheit. As you see there, or 60, and this is cold today. Right around 60 degrees Celsius. 70 degrees Celsius, 70 degrees Fahrenheit, or 20 degrees Celsius is your perfect temperature. And being said that is, Early in the morning when the batteries are cold after all night long, they are, they're already warm. So they don't have to take the time charging up. Because when the batteries are cold, it takes the charging tool to say, hey, look, the batteries are cold. we got to take our time heating them up. I um, mean, getting them charged up because they're cold. But the batteries are already warm. So that is going to help you in colder climates. All right. And I wish I'd have put these on my batteries a long time ago to keep them warm. But as you see, I have no insulation inside my shop at all. It just on T111 siding, and it's doing a job. So, and this is the kind of power we're producing today. Uh, with the kid, we are producing, if we can see that on here. We're producing 17 watts of power. That's two 200, two 120 watt panels. Right now, we're producing 140 watts of power. Okay, one second. Let me get this video light off of here. Okay, for example, right now we're making 150 watts 
on it this is up to 24 volt array or 33.4 volt with which I actually got to, to and we're doing a really good job on that okay over here on this other uh this is my flatter array these are all in 54.2 volts coming in right now we're making 110 watts of power all right Let's go outside and take a look on the system. This is a little update of what's going on. All right. And it's cold as you know what out here today. I am not kidding. But as you see, the turbines are turning. Pretty much so. The wind's kind of in and out, in and out. You see the anemometer up here on the Davis Weather Station. It's doing its thing. So we're getting enough wind to keep voltage in the system. All right, let's come on back around here now. Did y'all see what's up with the system? And this new camera, it's not the... It's not the best camera in the world, but I love it because it's, it's, it's good. I can come out here and pour down rain or snow, and I won't have to worry about in these cold conditions. These cameras are good in freeze-proof conditions, or really cold conditions that operate great. That's one reason I broke it out today. Some Nikon Coolpix AW120 is what it is, and that's my small off-grid system there. And that's my panels in the back. That's my solar air heater. And this is my other small, for my small off-grid system. Solar panels. These are my two 120 watt panels in series parallel, which make 24 volt or probably 33 volts. And these are my new arrays. I did this back this summer. And they, the bottom array right there, these are all in like, 50 some, 54 volts each, each in three, and three, uh, going to the other uh, Flexmax 80 uh, outback. And the top ones are in 24 volts, these top six, or 33 volts. Same with these, the pole mounts are also in 33 volts, or 24 volt. Something like, yeah, it's like that. But overall, let me get back here. Let's see, let's see what's going on here. But the system is doing a phenomenal job. As you can see, the conditions are not a bit of sun out, a little bit, a little peekaboo here and there. As y'all can see, that's the sun up, or the sun's up right now in the direction. It's about 1.30 in the afternoon. And the sun's about yeah, right in that area. It's cold out here. About 26 degrees of wind chill. But anyway, I want to give you all a little update and we'll come back later and let you see what the battery temperature is doing. Okay. We'll be back shortly. Keep you update throughout the night and the, and the cold Arctic blast weather. All right now. Okay, y'all. It is about it was five o'clock on January 7th and it's cold as you know what out here the wind turbines are cranking I just saw about uh, 1,220 watts and a 24, an hour, 24 mile an hour wind these bad boys are going to town alright let's go let's go forward it's cold out here. I think the wind chill right now is about 22 degrees. A little frigid. But yeah, I'm powering that shop, the big shop there. Oh, uh, that's about 1,100 square feet. And powering my house is 1,500 square feet. I got a three-ton heat pump. Well, I'm helping power it. That's it, that is. Oh, uh, that's what I mean to say. 
And uh, we have wind turns are doing really good this evening. Uh, really good. I'm happy. I'm getting a little wind power. But yeah. But it's just cold. I'm going to show you the conditions and what, how the battery bank's doing when it gets this cold. Uh, here's my other little system. I'll show you that real quick. A little small off grid system. Let's put toast in here. No heat, no, no heat on it in here, but, but, um, anyway, it's 13.2 volts. We're at, uh, this is a, um, midnight solar kit also. We've had a good day of solar today. We've reached full charge. Um, we're at 13.2 volts. I'm gonna turn some lights on so you can see this. Oh. Here it is. System is going to town. But you can hear the turbines cranking. Yeah, doing a great job. Alright, let's go on back to the other side of the shop. Virginia state flag. Turbo put the power out. Let's get inside. Let's go over there. Ah. All right. So far, so good. Around the wind, anyway. Battery temperature. Since I closed the battery, the, the cover after the last time is at 62 degrees Fahrenheit, and the temperature outside is 26, and the wind chill is 18 degrees. So it's it's working great. It's still in its job. The little the battery box. Is doing the job. Like I say, I got these my my um, fans that I help cool the battery bank off in the summertime when it gets like 110 degrees in here. You know, plus I got the the air conditioner to help keep it cool in the winter in the summer, spring and summer and fall. But also, I got these covered up. The, that's my exhaust, and over here is my. Uh, That is my um, um, intake. That fan right there. I got it covered up. Is that any air in there? Cold air. And uh, it's definitely worth the money. Um, putting them little hydro farm heaters in there. And uh, we're selling power back to the grid. <clears throat> but so far. On the wind, 1,200 watts we made. Uh, that's, a, that's max charge rate. And that was uh, a, that was a 24 mile an hour wind. That's pretty good. Pretty good, can't complain. So anyway. Yeah, when we go back to here, we'll get a real big gust of wind. 
this thing will start charging and selling power. It's set to sell at 27 on uh, 27.3 volts. And right now we're putting out it'll start selling back here in a minute. There you go, selling 100 watts. It's going to barely do that all night long. Just keep on selling back and forth. But the turbines really do a good job. Wind turbines are kind of like, dang, if, if you didn't have them, um, you know, when you have them, when there's a lot of wind, um, and you're like, dang, I wish I had wind turbines. When you don't have, when you don't have wind, like, man, what I got these things for? So it's a catch-22. But I love them. That's the high speed wind alarm at 20 mile an hour. And we should be selling back power pretty soon. Well, anyway, I'm not gonna bore y'all to death with this. Y'all seen my wind turbine videos before. Um, but anyway, the battery bank is staying warm. We're at 15 degrees Celsius, which is 62 degrees Fahrenheit. So that's good. And I'll come back later on when it gets even colder. Um, there we go again. And there is the wind chill, 17 degrees, or 25.8 actual temperature, 17 degrees with the wind chill. All right, we'll be back later on, y'all. Um, probably later on this evening. All right. I'll take care. Get back this evening. On another note, y'all, the heater just cut off. It's zero zero watts right now on the the, uh, the kilowatt meter. Yep, and it's at eighty five point one, but. That's to keep the batteries at 62, so you want about either 10, 10 to 15 degrees warmer than you actually want your battery bank. So it's keeping them warm. So 85 degrees and the actual probe on top of the batteries is 59, 59 degrees. And uh, let's turn this video light on here. He's got a lot of features on his camera. All right, that's a little butter. Um, it's 59 degrees. That's the little probe on top of the uh, battery bank, my temperature readings. And uh, it's 38 degrees in here. Well, at this location, uh, well, on top of the battery bank, on top of the coffin box, that is. And zero, zero kilowatt meter is making. That makes a big difference. And 84 degrees. I was hoping the temperature pretty good. Considering the sun's going down and we're at 16 degrees right now. Wind chill. 25.7. We're at 26.5 volts. Battery bank. And right now we're as watts, we're at negative. 2.90 and uh, two yeah and 3.16 just jumping back and forth. Okay, uh, we'll be back shortly. And the battery bank is it's still at 62 degrees, uh, 60 degrees Fahrenheit now. Okay, well we'll be back back in a little bit. Make a little bit of wind power now. 15.2 doing really good all right y'all be back shortly all right y'all hey y'all it's a little dark out here tonight the wind turbines are spinning see that <laughs> anyway 
I'm just going inside the shop and I'll let you see what the, uh, what the, what the, uh, batteries are doing. Alright. Get a little update. Right now, it is 27.8 out here. 27.8. 16.3 degrees and 7 degrees wind chill out there right now. It is cold. Oh, that button right there. Hold on a second. Alright. 60 degrees Fahrenheit. Um. I, 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 that's a believer for me. They were, that is working good. And uh, Celsius, it should be battery status is at 14 degrees Celsius. Now I turned this up a few degrees. I was at 80 degrees. Now I sit at the 90 because this, this is usually colder than normal. So I set the 90 and it's about right. It's heating up right now, 86.9. Let me see what I got to set at. Yep, 90 degrees. All right. It's at 86.9 right, right now. It's saying 56.8. That's on top of the battery bank right now. And we are burning. This thing to sit back up right. Alright. And we are at 82. We're burning 82 watts. That's all we're burning. That's not bad at all. Can't complain there. But you know, on these cold nights like this, the system is doing great. Where 100% charge. Yeah, 100% charge. And we're in the 14 degrees Celsius. And also, the 60 degrees Fahrenheit. So the battery bank, batteries are nice and toasty warm. And I'm going to tell you this, not to change the subject, but this can't, on this Nikon uh, AW120, I took it out of a hot or a warm 76 degree um, room and brought it outside did not fog up. It's, it's, it amazes me. This is a good little camera. Especially in these, um, you know, either super hot or cold climates like we got tonight. But 8 degrees. Oh, I just went up to 9. Uh, 8. And uh, here's conditions. Well, let me show you how good this is doing. Let me get this set up right here. Here we go. That's one bill. That's SD Summers bill. Um. Okay, let me see. Get them right here. Okay. Here we go, y'all. This was. I've had the heaters on now since around November. And this was uh said seventy dollars and thirty cent. All right. Seventy dollars thirty cent. Last year we burnt three hundred and eighty eight kilowatt hours for November. This year we burnt seventy four kilowatt hours for November. So it's it's pretty good. Really good. But keeping the batteries warm will definitely help you save power. You use a little power, you know, keep them warm, but it equals out electric bill is low. <laughs> I mean, it's the proof in the pudding. I mean, this is D. Summers' bill. Um, um, and, like I said, 941 kilowatt hours for December. And 81, uh, 13. And December 14 is 81 kilowatt hours. So that's a big difference. See, it does help keeping your batteries battery break warm. And I'll come back out here in the morning. It's about... 
it's 11 o'clock at night and uh, it is whipping out here y'all 10 mile an hour winds 11 just enough to keep the batteries enough voltage to keep the batteries charged good so that's the temperatures okay y'all well I'm gonna pack it in for tonight and the wind turbines are turning let's go ahead and see these oh, I got a flashlight Door on me, and uh, there we go. just as light. There we go. Good, y'all. They're going to town. There's a moon in the background. There you go. We got one spinning too. Yep. A lot of one spinning too. And these are uh two one thousand watt wind max wind turbines. At 24 volts each. Two 1,000 watt wind max at 24 volts each. Oh yeah, doing a great job. All right, and there's the old Davis weather station, and there's the anemometer spinning. Okay, let's back inside here. And this battery, I've been I've been on videotaping on this thing all day long. We I mean, off and on, you know, little clips here and there. This battery is still going strong. When you say these things are freeze proof, that's no lie. <laughs> these little underwater cameras. Anyway. Six, six degrees Fahrenheit and it's 11 six degrees Fahrenheit and it's 11 I mean it's 11 dirt at night and 8 degrees wind chill 16.1 outside alright okie dokie y'all well I'll see y'all in the morning alright Okay, y'all. It's daybreak. Hitting daybreak. It's around seven o'clock in the morning, and the sun and the turbines. It's a cold, crisp morning. Let me tell you. The east is pointing in this direction, right here. So that's where sun, you, know, you see the sun popping up in this area, but it's cold, crisp morning, about 8 degrees, 6 or 8 degrees in the morning. So that's where the sun, that's the east right there. So that's where the sun comes up in the morning, sunrise. All right. And let's go in the shop. I'll show you how the batteries stayed warm all night. See the results. Then we'll come back out here after daybreak. All right. Okay, y'all. We are at right now. We're at twenty-five point six volts. That is doing great. All right. Let's see the temperature. Uh, the battery bank 55 degrees and you can see my breath this morning <laughs> for real 
I ain't kidding. It's doing a heck of a job, y'all. Okay, these are the temperatures outside. Anyway, inside it's uh, 21.6 inside the shop, in the solar sh shop. In uh, six, and it's 8.2 outside, with the wind chill of 6 degrees Fahrenheit. Alright. Now, alright, now, the battery bank now is at 12 degrees Celsius. Um, so it is doing a heck of a job. It's keeping everything warm. Uh, we're at, we're drawing 83 watts of power. And the temperature, the thermostat is at 8 point, 83.6 degrees Fahrenheit. And it's, and it's coming up, it's heating the batteries up. It shuts off around 90 degrees. But the temperature, um, I got it set to 90, so I keep them to close to 60. This is extra cold. I usually have it set around 80, and that about 10 degrees or so above. It keeps them pretty warm. But that's on a regular, a regular winter night, about 30, you know, maybe freezing 30 degrees or whatever. Um, but nothing. This 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 is not normal around here. I mean, maybe once or twice a year, but that's about it. Um, this is a cold January 8th, and it's 8 degrees. Ain't that something? Um, but anyway, we're now down to, I'll say, 11 degrees Celsius. And we're at 55 degrees Fahrenheit. So, yeah, y'all, I mean, it's booming. I'll come back as soon as the sun rises, starts to break over the trees, and I'll show you what kind of power I'll put. We're putting oh in the battery bank sorry I'll move place to place the battery bank still at a hundred percent um and we're starting to start to draw a little bit of power from the uh the the day the daylight breaking the, um behind the trees in fact we're bringing in right now we're bringing in 18.4 volts. Yeah, 18.5 volts. That's a 24 volt system. And over here, we're bringing in 35.8, and this is roughly the 60 volt system. So, yeah. So, anyway, but not charging yet. No amateur watch yet. So, all right, we'll be back here shortly, as soon as the sunrise. All right, we'll be back shortly. All yeah, 55 degrees. There we go again. That's doing a heck of a job. When your battery's warmer, they'll charge up a whole lot quicker. All right, y'all. Be back shortly. Okay, y'all. It is uh, about 9.15 in the morning on um, January the 8th and my panels, my south facing panels are getting a lot of sun and uh, the sun is over here now. Y'all can see that? Alright. Let's go inside and see what kind of power we're producing. Alright. Okay, y'all. We're now inside the shop. And the battery temperature is at 55 degrees. Which is doing really good. Temperature has risen a little. It's 12.9 degrees outside. It's 9.16 a.m. Wind chill is 9 degrees. Battery bank is a toasty 55 degrees. Alright. We're putting out 405 watts total. So that's good. We're making power. 
and right now we're at 11 degrees Celsius that's the same thing as 55 degrees Fahrenheit so and we're drawing uh, 80 watts up from the kilowatt meter to heat the batteries and the top one says 51.3 degrees it's 23 down at this, at this level and uh, I see here um, get back here uh, status okay let's see what we're doing there but yeah we're making producing 400 watts of power and 500 watts of power and then 200 watts is going is going back to the household and out to the grid so everything's up to, up to par and the battery voltage is at 27.6 volts up and down give or take a little it's it's selling back and increasing the pudding the, this battery heaters work that is December's bill with all the Christmas lights running and this is November's bill um seventy dollars and thirty cents um a lot of Thanksgiving cooking and all that kind of stuff going on so, all right, well, I hope you liked this video. I've been making it since yesterday. Kind of like a time lapse thing. But, uh, anyway, I hope y'all like them bills. Did it work? It helps out a lot. Keeping your batteries warm. And a kilowatt hour usage. 81 kilowatt hours. And over here for November bill is uh 388 kilowatt hours excuse me excuse me 74 kilowatt hours and the bill was 17 dollars 30 cent so that's not bad for fall and winter uh so far but anyway i want to thank y'all for watching this is kbusmc kent w Vire jr just don't call me late for dinner Please subscribe. I hope you like my update on my system. And thank you very much for watching. Uh, God bless and semper fi. Hoorah. Find this little button here.